Hi, good morning. How are you doing today? How are you coping with this COVID-19 situation? How are you getting on with the global pandemic? Um, has it affected you a lot? Are you self-isolating at all? Are you at home with family? Are you rubbing along okay? Sharing the washing up and the cooking? Getting a bit of exercise? Keeping each other entertained? Or are you on your own? Are you having to stay in? Or are you just living alone in a flat? Or in a house, rattling around? Yeah. I wonder how you feel at the moment. Are you feeling lonely? Because as Christians, we're never alone, according to the Word of God. We're never on our own, even when we are alone. God is with us. And where does it say this in the Bible? Um, Hebrews 13.5 He has said, I will never leave you, nor forsake you. It's a great verse, one to hold on to. Um, years ago, when I went to uh, Ghana to help out with some evangelism, the, the local evangelists would teach this to kids. They would uh, get them to hold up their hands and they would say, I will never leave you. And then they would um, get them to substitute the I for Jesus. So it would be, Jesus will never leave you. And then it would get them to substitute the you for the name of the child. So, Jesus will never leave Thomas. Or, Jesus will never leave Susan. <laughs> it was a great way to teach kids a verse, and a really important verse, because they taught that to kids who had asked Jesus to be their saviour. But can we really depend on that? I mean, it says in the Bible, in Deuteronomy, that Moses told Israel um, that he will not leave you, referring to God. You know, go into the promised land. Be bold. Be confident. He will not leave you. So he's talking to the Israelites. And, yeah, you might not feel that's aimed directly at you. Um, and Joshua obviously took over from Moses. And God said to Joshua, I will not leave you. So he had that promise. I will not leave you. And Christians appropriate these promises to themselves. But you might want to hear it a bit more personally. You might want God to say to you, I will not leave you. Because that is what he's saying. So, how can we be confident of that? Well, one way is to think about the Gospel of Matthew. You know, it starts off in the first chapter with um, Emmanuel. Yeah? Um, God with us. So God comes to us in Matthew, in the form of Jesus, born as a baby. And he comes to live among us, and he is with us. Well, if you scoot ahead to the end of Matthew, what do you get? You get the Great Commission. That's what we call it. This instruction that Jesus gave to his disciples. Um, he said to them, um, all authority in heaven and earth has been given to me. Yeah, go therefore and make disciples of all nations, um, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. And we believe that, don't we? Because we are evangelical Christians. <laughs> because we're born again believers and we believe that that's what we need to do. We need to go out into all the world and make disciples of all nations. But it didn't 
finish there. You know, that last part of Matthew, that last bit of the last verse, when he says, teaching them uh, to observe all that I have commanded you. And then he adds an extra bit. And this is him talking to his disciples. And these are the commands that we appropriate to ourselves. This is the great commission that we have received. And Jesus says directly to us, And behold, I am with you always, even to the end of the age. So if you feel a little bit like you're on your own today, just remember that Jesus is right there with you. He said, I will never leave you nor forsake you. Uh, the Greek in the book of Hebrews is even stronger. Um, I'll read it to you. I've got a, an interlinear here. I like to cheat like this. This is a translation from the Greek of the words. And it says this. For he has said, In no wise thee will I leave, nor in any wise thee will I forsake. It's pretty emphatic, isn't it? So remember that today. Whatever you're doing, wherever you are, God is with you. He will never leave you, nor forsake you. Thanks. Been good talking to you this morning. Hope you enjoyed that. Bye.